I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. You must leave. You're not welcome here. Hello there everybody thanks again for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. Today I'll be covering something that I think everyone will be quite familiar with, Haunted House. You know like the unexplained footsteps, knockings on the door, mimicking voices, hearing strange noises, creepy random sightings, stuff in the house moving on their own, and so many others. Could you please stop? Does that mean that haunted houses are real? The spate of Ghost Hunter TV shows, movies, and books has been capitalizing on this notion. Many people do not believe in haunted houses while others blame them on activity from the devil. But is there such thing as a friendly ghost? It always gets crazy when I'm here by myself. Or when my daughter's sleeping. See, I told you, I want her piano again. But at least y'all caught that part. <laughs> Yo, uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, I'm good. No, no, I'm good. Shut that. I'm telling you, every time I'm here by myself, man, According to the exorcist Father Vincent Lampert, he believes the souls can act in this reality if they are in need of prayer and God permits it. But this also begs another question. How do we know if it is a soul in purgatory causing mysterious activity in a house or if it is the work of the devil? Father Vincent Lampert explains that if everything becomes silent when we begin praying, then it's a soul in purgatory. But if it's evil, things will become more turbulent because a demon is being tormented by the prayer. Many people have come to Father Lampert reporting strange things happening in their homes. If it's a soul that's trapped, it's seeking prayers and trying to get people's attention, he explained. It needs those prayers to move on to where it needs to be. Father Lampert also explains that before acting in a situation involving a haunted house, he will investigate and spend time in prayer. He said that he is usually very cautious before he agrees to celebrate a mass. He would instead say prayers to drive away evil but not hold a mass. This is because he doesn't want anything to happen that could profane the Eucharist. He also explains that during an exorcism, if a demon manifests, the priest must take great care to protect the Eucharist. Father Lampert explains that houses can be blessed to drive out evil spirits, since spirits don't live in a location like people do. Evil spirits can choose to act at a location, and evil activities might have brought that about, but spirits don't occupy time and space like we do. Something happened to bring on the evil. For haunted houses, people are going to these houses and doing seances, and it is important to remember that any continuation of evil could have been caused by people bringing it on by their actions. Father Lampert also warns that a fascination with evil can create serious danger. There are a lot of people that watch those ghost hunter shows that don't have a connection with God. 
Evil plays on a person's mind and memories. If a person does not have a faith life to deal with evil, then his life can be destroyed by it. Without God in one's life, there is no protection from such evil. He also adds that he personally does not watch such shows since he's uninterested in giving evil undue attention. It's unfortunate, according to Father Lampert, that if there is a talk on evil, many more people will show up than one on Jesus. Instead of being fascinated with evil, we should all be fascinated with God. There's another exorcist who prefers that his real name is not disclosed and simply called as Father Patrick instead, said that if as Christians we do not recognize the invisible world, then we are blind to a lot of it. Besides the nine choirs of angels and demons, Father Patrick said there are all the souls that were once attached to bodies. As we Catholics know, after death our souls will be in heaven or hell, but there are those who are not yet in heaven because of their imperfections. Sometimes these souls are attached to things here on earth. Father Patrick believes that these souls are what people would normally report as ghosts. Ghosts are basically disembodied souls that are still attached to things or people. Father Patrick also said that he has often found a deceased member of the family trapped on earth that did not have a proper preparation for death or a Christian burial, and for cases like this, these souls can find peace through prayers and masses being said for them. So many souls are earthbound and God has made us for himself and we shall not rest until we are with him. Father Patrick also warns the people not to seek out ghost hunters that look for haunted houses and come to set up their paranormal equipment. These ghost hunters would normally start asking for things to show up and taunting spirits to get a response. This behavior is actually abuse and not respecting a soul that lives there. That is like setting up cameras where you live and sticking a microphone in your face while you are trying to get your breakfast. Father Patrick reminds us that we should pray for departed souls, and if someone thinks their house is haunted, they should ask their local priest to help. 